All hello great readers, I'm Bo Chen. I'm Nimikong. I'm Van Chan. In this class, I'll read all of you a part of The Letter of Omar. Yes. Oh. The Lad of Homer Theodora Wobuckley Chap 20 sec 2 Gives the loud signal And the heavens reply Meanwhile the rushing armies hide the ground The gleaming champagne glows with brazen light Their great Achilles, bold one is, here, with towering strides when he's first advanced, and so he moved, his chivel and flame before, not so polite is. He rushed impetuous. Stocks curls on with unregooding pride. He murmurs fury with a hollow groan. Lashed by his tail, his heaving sides resound. He calls up all his rage. Resolved in vengeance. Or resolved in death. So fierce Achilles on one his face. So stands one his. And his force defies. Why comes one his through the ranks so far? And prove his merits to the throne of Troy. Partial monarch may refuse the prize. Since he has many of his four vines, honorable for grain, even this, perhaps, will hardly prove thy lot. But King Achilles be so soon forgot. Or, till he reached Lanus's, turned his head. Her lofty walls not long our progress stayed. In Grecian chains her captive race were cast. Tis true, the great one is fled too fast. What then I lost? The gods this day restore. I'll. While thou mayst. Avoid the threatened fate. To one that fears thee. Someone will like boy. Such we disdain. With mean approaches and unmanly pride. Each from illustrious fathers draws his line. Each god is born. Half human, half divine. Tis not in words the glorious strife can end. Dared in his walls he raised. Was not. The shady foot of Edith's fanful hill. The richest. And. Of Edith's wealthy kings. Three thousand foals beside their mother's bed. Swift as their mother mirrors, 
and fire the wind. Nor plied the grass, nor bent the tender grain. Scarce on the surface scored the bernie dew. The sacred troughs, of him the Trojan name. The grace and glory of the Ambrosial feast. First rose lambs and Vermilla's side. And Priam, blessed with Hector, brave and bold, Clidius and Lampus, ever honoured bear, and Heiston, thunderbolt of war, begat Anches, and Anches me. Source of power and might. All human courage gives, or it takes away. Aren't all with truth or falsehood, right or wrong. So valuable a weapon is the tongue. Wounded. We wound. Perhaps excel us in this ruddy war. And vent their anger impotent and loud. It is not to question, but to prove our might. He spoke. Fixed deep. And loudly in the buckler run. That trembled as it stuck. Thor, airy fell, the immeasurable spear. His fizz were vain. Secured the temper of the ethereal arms, but stopped and rested. By the third rebel, compose the shield. There stuck the lance, and the slight covering of expanded heights. A fate so near him shells his soul with fright, and swims before his eyes the many-coloured light. A mass enormous. No two of earth's degenerate sons could raise. But an instant victim to Achilles' hands. Bife besurged. His aid in vain, the man owes poor as the god. With guiltless blood where vice is not his own. To all the gods his constant vows were paid. Sure. Though he was for joy. He claims our aid. Fate was not this. At length our odious to all seeing mind. The Darden Prince. O Neptune. Be thy care. Of sworn destruction to the Trojan kind. Or save one member of the sinking state. And cast thick darkness o'er Achilles' eyes. And at his master's feet the weapon through. Where the slow cockens close the rear of fight. What Paul? O Prince. 
or just need to meet a key is our memoir. Defrauding fate of all thy fame to come. To be continued.